First News with Keeler in the morning on WIBX and WIBX950.com. This podcast is sponsored by Ramp. Are you the decision maker in your company? Consider this. For the first time in decades, there's a better option for a corporate card and spend management platform. Meet Ramp, the only corporate card and spend management system designed to help you spend less money so you can make more. Most corporate credit cards offer points as incentives, but those points amount to less than their worth in real cash value. Ramp's business cards offer you cash back, real money in your pocket. Plus, you control who spends what with each vendor. And Ramp's software collects and verifies receipts automatically, which means you'll stop wasteful spending and close your books in hours instead of days. Businesses that use Ramp add up to 5% to their bottom line the first year. If you're a decision maker, adding Ramp could be one of the best decisions you've ever made. And now get $250 when you join Ramp for free. Just go to ramp.com slash easy. Ramp.com slash easy. R-A-M-P dot com slash easy. Currents issued by Sutton Bank and Celtic Bank members of DIC. Terms and conditions apply. Charlie DeGristina from uh, It's a Utica Thing. Charlie, good morning. Good morning, Bill. Uh, no surprise. I know you is one of these, uh, you know, you'll go out and work in the field and, and plant tomatoes. And, and before you know it, corn will be out. And, oh, by the way, you're working till late making pizza, greens, and chicken riggies. Um, and then, oh, let's start a new brand and sell sauce. I mean, you never stop working. Well, corn is out, actually. It is out already. <laughs> yes. Yeah. How about, what is the rain going to do to the corn this year? Uh, it's, uh, you know, it, the rain has been hitting areas moderately. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we've been, we've been fortunate so far down there. My so cousin grows next to me and, okay. you know, crops look good right now. All right. Um, okay. Let's talk about the, uh, you know, in some cases, the pandemic has been a real problem. Well, the pandemic has been a problem. There's no doubt about it. But when, when some kind of retract, Others, uh, others surge, and that's really where you're at right now when it comes to the state fair. Yeah, um, you know, for the last few years, I've been thinking about this, <clears throat> not just promoting our brand, but mm-hmm. promoting the city of Utica with added sp- uh, available space yeah. now because so many vendors are bouncing out. Uh, it was another opportunity to ask, uh, request more space. Uh, 65, by the way, I think is the current number of, mm-hmm. uh, of merchandise and food vendors that have backed out of the state fair this year. Yeah, and it's terrible. You don't want any of them out. I mean, Dinosaur, Gianelli, mm-hmm. I mean, they're, they're all staples. And yeah, you, yeah. you want them to continue to be there. But we had added space, and, uh, you know, I just don't want to promote our brand. and Because it is, well, it is about the city of Utica, but yeah. I want to promote the city of Utica. Mm-hmm. So it gave us an opportunity. You know, Mayor, Mayor Paul Mary said the other day that, you know, this is the greatest little city in America. Yeah. And, you know, look at all the changes that are being made. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, there's, there's earth being moved everywhere. Uh, you know, we were out. Matter of fact, I seen you, Bill, and uh, we we're at a new restaurant that opened up. And yeah. I heard somebody make a comment. Um, I don't even feel like I'm in Utica. I know. Yeah. Well, you are in Utica. Yeah. And and the, these are the changes that are going around without us. So at this point now, to be able to promote this city at the state fair with over two million people coming through, you know, this is a great place to live. It's a great place to raise a family. I mean, you're at the gateway of the Adirondacks. And the list just keeps compiling. I love your uh, your idea for this the thing, the sandwich. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, so correct me if I have this right. Uh, mozzarella cheese, chicken riggies, Utica greens. You flip the tomato pie right. and sandwich it with two pieces of tomato pie. Yeah, I had. Uh, Holy cow. Is that panini? St- do you have to do you press it? At some, is that so, crazy something? or what? No, yeah. you never you just, press that. You just no. let it go messy. Yeah, we, we just pile it high. Uh, the greens go on top of one of the Do you bake slices. it? Do you like put it in, in the salamander? Yeah, we put it right in the oven. We yeah. bake each one. We top it uh, with another slice of tomato pie. Wow. It goes into a big container. You know, it's, wow. uh, you know, we got some t shirts being made up, so we're going to have some fun with this. Yeah. I've seen some of the fun you're having. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's large, it's a thing, and we probably can't talk about it on the radio. Well, I have you, know, <laughs> you, you used to be able to talk about this. In the day, the yeah, back before Ed Welch uh, prevented me from... <laughs> well, I, I, I just want to And say, Jeff, uh, let's be fair. You, 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 you need at least two things. Uh, you need at least two yeah. hands to get... Uh, yeah. to so it, it is an enormous sandwich, but yeah. you know, that is the type of stuff 
that flies at the uh, at the state fair. Yeah, people look for those novelties yeah. all the way around, and you see them scattered throughout the fair. So yeah. it's, uh, it, it'll be fun. We'll have a good and and uh, Manaski, is there any uh, truth that uh, new this year is the deep fried Utica greens? Are they doing that this year? Mm. Deep fried greens. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can't right, deep right fried next greens. to the deep fried Oreo stand. <laughs> but I I almost feel like they. Uh, what did I see the other the other day? It's like Reuben. Reuben, deep fried Reuben balls or something like that. I mean, you could do that with greens. There, there, there's well, you know, that's something to think about for next. Think year's about fair. that. So yeah, we have, we'll have you know, we had thing one, we had th- now we have thing yeah. two, right? And now uh, we'll, <laughs> well come you up could with have a thing with the with the the green the balls. thing with the other thing, uh, Keeler's green uh, thing three. So yeah, we, I like it's, it. It's next. All right, the other part of this is you've uh, you've really taken for those that don't know Charlie's Pizza. Um, uh, you you still operate in North Utica and Washington Mills, but. It's the sauces that uh, that are all over, and the demand that, and you learned something about this that that everybody can can learn from. The value of the name Utica has in the food industry has skyrocketed, and you've been able to help promote that and take advantage of it at the same time. Yeah, it's really been interesting. I mean, we travel all over the place, and and you'd be surprised also, and uh, how far this this name of the city Utica really really travels and uh, you know at some point you're always running into somebody you know whether it was five years ago or 25 years ago that knows someone or is from Utica yeah and you certainly don't travel anywhere outside of the city and not bring a tomato pie or you right know, right uh, to somebody it's the one thing you bring place. it's like uh, bringing flowers to uh, to a place when you go you don't bring yeah. flowers you bring a tomato you pie bring right. tomato pie yeah um, and the sauces are uh, di- you know, there used to be a time when we'd talk about a jar sauce. You'd never even consider a jar sauce. Yeah, obviously, I grew up, you know. Uh, Somebody told you uh, we're having <laughs> pasta tonight. Yeah. I got a jar sauce. I, I have be, ragu I, coming. We have noodles and, and, and ragu. I certainly would be outcasted from the family. But, yeah. you know, you, 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 can, you can do it. And one of the most important things um, through this process is it's simple. You just keep the good ingredients in. Yeah. And, you know, they try to tear it down to, you know, make that bottle less expensive and, and, and make it a cost factor. But if you keep the good ingredients in, uh, the quality will come out. What are you, uh, when you're at the fair, what are you hearing from people that are coming from all over the state? I, I mean, you know, I, I could tell you that there's more people that are in front of that, that big logo that says it's a Utica thing, taking pictures and sending it to somebody. Yeah. People are extremely excited about uh, being there uh, for 2021. Uh, obviously skipping last year and, yeah. and everything that has happened. So I honestly think it's uh, going to be the biggest, best fair ever. Yeah. Um, it's unfortunate that we're losing for some vendors, but I know that they're filling space right now. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, it's going to be easiest, easy to find us because we're building a, a big structure around our uh, our, our booth, and uh, you're going to see these big green signs that says Exit 31, Welcome to Utica, New that York. That is awesome. And you've added the uh, you've added the very important uh, element, and that is uh, FX Matt Brewery. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean Fred Matt and 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 his his team have been really great uh, spearheading ideas, and 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 you know not just putting a table up in a skirting, yeah. but we really want to do some special things, and and we're looking to tag something together with that uh, big mug of UC uh, with our thing. So <laughs> it's, I think there's uh, something there. So we're going to have we're going to have some fun with that as well. Uh, again, I um, am just craving that. Do you serve that right now? Is that only at the fair? The thing? Yeah, uh, it's it's a it's it's yeah, just like at the somebody fair. came to Charlie's and was like, I mean, hearing about this, uh, this thing sandwich. Yeah, we, we have a few different items that are on that trailer and they're unique. And, uh, you okay, know, some of the, the sandwiches we put out too. So I'd like to keep them on okay. there as that novelty. Um, so as of right now, you gotta, you gotta follow the food and uh, follow the It's You to Get Thing trailer. Fair day one. <clears throat> okay. That's very what good. Mean. All right, Charlie. Great stuff. Congratulations. Thank uh, you. you have a Facebook and all that. It's a Utica thing yep. and all of those yes. places you can go. Check it and out. And the sauces are in, in grocery stores. Same thing with the tomato pie, which is, I have to say, is a, is a, is an awesome tomato pie in, in restaurants is not easy to, you just don't say, Hey, I'm coming over and picking up a tomato pie. Uh, you really have to order ahead for a tomato pie. Uh, you do. I mean, you have powerhouses in this city. You know, I mean, you take Roma's, for instance. They got them coming out one after another. Yeah, um, yeah. But, you know, anywhere there's a four-corner stop sign, there's somebody selling tomato pie. Yeah. And everybody has <laughs> yeah. their, their version of it. So yeah. we just tried to represent it the best way we can. But to do can. that and have it be a frozen and, and, yeah. you, and you put it in 
uh, right on the rack. You don't even put it on a uh, on a sheet nope. a tin. And 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 six minutes or so, it's out. You cut it up and yeah, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It, and that's it available at room temperature. And yeah. there you go. Pretty cool. So, yes. all right. Well, it it helps. It really does help showcase and, pr- and promote the uh, the Utica brand. It's important. Um, cool. Okay. Nice job. Uh, you can see. Look for him. It's uh, what did we say? Broadway. Next to the big roller coaster. Right across from the big roller coaster. Okay. You will definitely see the signs. Utica will be as, as, as big as life at the New York State Fair this year. Okay, good stuff.